Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 7 of Sunshine in the Mirrors. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Alright, yes, as I said in the previous videos that came out today, or this will probably come out tomorrow, I'm sorry that this is a couple of days late. I didn't really want this to be late because I wanted to get this done on Sunday. But when I came home from work, working five hours and 30 minutes by myself, I was tired. Plus, Monday and Tuesday kicked my ass. And now we're at Wednesday, which in my opinion is like my Thursday. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still tired. So I'm going to try to get this and Pretty Care out for you guys so that tomorrow I can, if I do it tomorrow, i got a lot of shit to record, but I might do the other one tonight too. Mm -hmm, misty. Ah, it's so pretty. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have a baby together. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's gonna be everybody. We hope. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's just a time where you're just hanging out and you get to know each other even more. Or even if you are friends, you just hang out and talk about stuff. You gossip. Seriously, Rico? <laughs> Yeah. You didn't think that through. Oh my god! What about you, Ruby? <laughs> Mm 
Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Well, we'll find out. This is my baby for ya. <laughs> yeah, because tomorrow's a big day. Well, but... Mm -mm. I at least thought, like, Lilabs would have been able to go. You sure? So, who... Where are we? Oh, my... Daya! <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody really is going to love it. No. I know. <laughs> oh, babe. Okay, now where's Ruby? <gasps> Will be. From what somebody said on Twitter, this whole episode, from what they had said, gives it feels to like the first time when the girls all officially met IRL. Hell, it's giving me vibes of when like, not only that, but also when one of my personal favorite bands, Rosalia, first met. And how much they've all, well, first of all, now they're separating, but how far they've all come like as a group, because... Just love how they're all together. It's like just so cute. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm.
Seriously? The summer festival on a way die ain't that a little too much? Uh-oh. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> My healthy game of the game. Right? So yeah, what do you wanna do? No, baby. You still have enough time. I mean, and besides, I feel like you've done pretty much everything all the rest of the girls wanted, so. Well, except Chica's baseball. Yeah. Yeah, just a little tad.
Oh, no, no, baby. Love you. Oh. <laughs> so you're on your own. Ain't that funny? All the third years, all the seconds, and all the first. You know, I really thought instead of them also doing that, I thought they would have been like, okay, let's just do their subunits. So since Guilty Kiss was already together, go with the others. Let's all together. That's what we needed. We finally got it. An episode with all of them. All together. It feels like home. That's all. And at the tip. Mm-hmm. And not everybody really can do that, but you did it. Mm-hmm.
That's funny. This was 10 out of 10. 10 out of a thing 10. This is the best freaking episode. Besides the fact once again, that, you know, my baby's guilty because got to be together in the previous few episodes. But the fact that all nine of them are finally here and finally interacted. Once again, it feels like season one all over again with Miracle Kojima and me crying my butt off. In the middle of the day over this and then releasing that the next week and everybody's like oh my god like I didn't cry when I watched this the first time but with you I cried and I'm just like a mess and it's just reminding me of that and I really love that because it's always going to be one of my own special memories about Aquas and why I love them so much but yeah this is good for a girls night episode of it's adorable all just got to interact that was the biggest thing that I truly wanted for them because of course going into this I was like it's probably going to be a while until we get to see them all together but when we finally see them together it's gonna hit and it's gonna hit so good that it's just we're all gonna be happy and I'm happy truly like it just feels like the first time for them truly that looks good. Uh, okay, that was a short behind. Was that supposed to be like that? Maybe it was just for the copy that I downloaded, but that was a short little preview. Okay, um, <laughs> until Sunday. <laughs> I mean, damn, it was just like here, here, no, done. Um, but yeah, truly, as I said, and even with someone, because like when I was at work on Sunday when this episode came out and I saw something about it and I was like, hmm, I wonder what they mean by that. And now truly seeing this, I now truly understand what they mean. But like also for me, thinking of not only this group, but Rosalia, my personal favorite, um, Bundity group and seeing how far they have come. And it makes you wish kind of that we would have more episodes or more spinoff shows about like... Not only Love Live, but Bendity. Heck, you can even do Idol Master as well with some of these girls. And they're in, like, a different environment and such. And, you know, they're still playing the same characters, but it's just new environment. And they get to, you know, re-meet each other. Something about that is just really special. And then you get to see it over again and you're just reminded about everything. And so, hopefully, maybe, if, you know... <laughs> If they want to do it for Bundry. If they want to start with a popping party, that's fine. I still love me some popping party. But if they ever wanted to do Rosalia. Because they know they fan base. And they know how much. Like, a lot of people love the crap out of Rosalia. So, you could. Or, I mean, because it's like the same thing with, like, um, pastel palettes. But I feel like even now, they possibly have not found a new Seiyu for Aya. So I don't really know if that'll be possible. I mean, because that's like how I really wanted a potential season four. But because of all what's happening for that show or for that series, I really don't see that now. Because I'm like, Oof. yeah, yeah. But this was good. I, I love that we got this human Ruby. Yes, I'm like so freaking happy about that. Because like, oh, I thought she was just going to be a whole fairy for like the rest of the episode. But she's like, no, yeah, don't be surprised. But it was so cute. <laughs> like, oh my god. Once again, too many freaking feels on this. Like, god. If I wasn't, if I didn't cry, then god, I didn't cry. But inside, I think just seeing them interact and everything. Oh, 
I, I definitely was crying my butt off. I probably, like, was maybe inside of my heart and my inner monologue was probably, like, a hot, <laughs> a hot mess knowing me because I love this group so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Sunshine in the Mirror. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all on Sunday after work for episode 8. Bye, guys.